Hello everyone, Shaggy Rogers here. First off, I'd like to thank Makai the Brooklyn animator to use the brand on Teen Titans Go. Now, without further ado, let's get started for the most cringe so the weirdest moment of Warner Brothers animation in DC. Teen Titans Go. So, what do I think about this show? I must say, this show is too much. It might as well the ruthless. I want to say everyone over that show with a burning passion. Titans Go was currently airing on Cartoon Network, originally airing on Boomerang, and currently streaming on Hulu and Max. Firmly known as HBO Max. This show is still involves the same voice actors from the original Teen Titans from 2003. Same characters, but with different and goofy attitudes. Now it's for this one. The original Titans are so awesome. Total badasses, funny a lot of crimes, less comedy, and some dark stories. Me and my brother JD grew up in the 2000s Lucas Titans, and they are a part of our childhoods. But that's for these kitty Titans. Total dumbasses, way too immature, and a lot of childish and cringing moments. Those minor blockheads do not take anything seriously, they're cracking out jokes and making up memes. Such a disgrace to DC. Now, let's start with Raven and Starfire. Well, as much as I love them more often for the 2000s redesign, the designs for Teen Titans Go are quite decent. But in the show, they're sometimes goofy and comedic. Raven, however, shows a little bit of the character developed by casting magic spells, teleporting, and fighting up for the Titans, including her friend Starfire. She can be a sarcastic de demon girl who'd rather be left alone. She's into cute things like playing with the unicorns all by herself. Not to mention, they're also a kind of ripoff or reference to My Little Pony. Now, as for Starfire, she's quite goofy, but a decent character. Loves hanging out with her best friend Raven, and likes her relationship with the lead rat Robin. But still likes to fight crimes, being smart sometimes, and do funny things. And we have Beast Boy and Cyborg. Goofy as usual than the reboot, Beast Boy shows up the bit of his character development by switching to any kind of animals. Cyborg, on the other hand, uses his body to high-tech upgrades and weapons as usual. But the creature's moment, but I find it annoying that they kept on singing the dumb old waffle song. Like, really? They're singing a song acting like they're so addicted to waffles. Or maybe they ate too much on Belgian waffles for I hop or the waffle house for breakfast. Even though they're trying not making the waffles for me goofballs, they're still able to say the word to sing the word. That was the most annoying thing can ever have this boy in cyborg. Even worse, those kitty times even playing the trick to defeat Brother Blood. Well, Beast Boy and Cyborg admitted they're finding it very annoying. Like, really? It's pathetic. Why are those two clearly the last minute to say they're saying the word Walvis is annoying? If you guys find things annoying, just say so. Things will be alright for me. Now, we come to the worst character of the show, Robin. Or should I say, Baby Hands. Robin is such a brat of the leader. Always whining, always complaining, and is always being so bossy. He acts like everything is about him, and he always wants respect. News flash, we have to learn respect. Anyways, he has anger issues. Always a sim to Starfire, and is a wannabe cash cow for Cartoon Network and the Warner Brothers Nation. 2003 version of Robin was totally the best. He's not a brat, and he doesn't whine. He fights like a leader, talks like a leader, and even has walked like the leader from the leader of the Teen Titans. He doesn't do the booty scooty. He doesn't cry like a baby like a broken stick. He never cheats on Starfire. Is not the leader of the Warner Brothers. These two can nothing compare to each other. Not to mention, he and the Kitty Titans ruined the 100th anniversary special of Warner Brothers. The anniversary special is ruined thanks to Baby Robin and his Baby Titans making up the rules and making the special all about them. Luckily, it sure is great to see all the recognizable characters from Warner Brothers. From Warner Brothers Animation, Cartoon Network Studios, and Hanna-Barbera. Once a Pony Studio. This one is such a masterpiece. This is way better than the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers. We can start lots of Disney characters so all know and love, having Mickey Mouse as the main character and featuring Walt Disney himself. Now, back to Teen Titans Go! The bad guys, along with the main characters, are Walt Decent, but sometimes are mediocre. I don't mind them making up the appearances on the show. By the way, the one in episode where it's kind of based on an American Idol. It was quite good to see the Justice League making up their cameo especially where Batman has a little more screen time. Also, it was good to see Wonder Woman in there, since she was one of my favorite heroes on DC. I really love her design in the show, along with the design for Justice League Unlimited. Tomorrow things I really loved about the movie, there are two movies. 
Teen Titans Go to the movie and Teen Titans Go vs. the original Teen Titans. It was so great to see the 2003 version of the Teen Titans because I love the Moana reboot. And like I said before, part of my childhood. Now, this part's not really surprising to me. This show has turned 11 years old. Nothing but goofiness, annoyance, memes, cringe fest, and jokes. They even saw some cameos and they are familiar with. Really? Why is not going to make this show bad at all? Even I watched Nintendo's about videos where it mentions all the hate that this show is getting and he's right about what anything is said about this show. This is why Warner Bros. Discovery and Cartoon Network were falling apart and running out of ideas recently, especially with the Cartoon Network studio will be shut down. Anyway, what did you think about this show? I'm rating it 4 out of 10. Because the reboot show is too mediocre, there are some okay moments, and the whole show is something else, and it's nothing compared to the 2003 version of the Teen Titans. So, anyone, that concludes my rant on Teen Titans Go. It's not like to remark the show, it's okay, I can handle all your opinions. So, I will see you all in the next round of the video. This is Shaggy Rogers here, signing off. And remember, you do not follow maps to buried treasure, and the X never, ever marks the spot.